Oh, hello there. Yes, hurtling our way through midweek. Moving on to autumnal facial hair. Bit of a haircut. Yes, Archie Bald. Yes. Anyway, time for a few questions, I think. Had enough of political correctness and the stifling of free speech? Had enough of uncontrolled immigration and asylum? Had enough of British people coming second in today's society? Had enough of seeing criminals get off with light sentences? Had enough of the continued decline of British industry? Had enough of the destruction of family values? Have you had enough? We have. Don't you think it's time you voted for the National Front? Yes, indeed. Been doing some thinking recently about um, our glorious fascist past and our glorious fascist future, no doubt. Um, at the weekend, um, Nick Griffin popped up. Um, suggesting that Neil Oliver, that guy from GB News, and the coast, you remember him from the coast, he seemed quite nice then, but he's basically fallen off a cliff, in the sense that he earnestly believes that a cabal of people, probably with big noses, are out to doom us all. Anyway, yeah, Nick Griffin, he of the BNP from about 20 years ago cropped up and said of Neil Oliver, well said, a pity Neil Oliver didn't get on board 20 years ago, indeed. And I'm often struck by loads of things, as you know, but I'm often struck by the fact recently that um, the output of stations like GB News and indeed the currency and policy of our present Conservative government are essentially identical to the demands that were being made by the National Front in the late 1970s. And indeed, tomorrow, because I haven't got a lot of time today, we'll do a deeper dive into the BNP manifesto from 2005. Standard, mainstream, in inverted commas, fascist policy for the BNP are definitely and undoubtedly a fascist party has now become mainstream political thought. What used to be the extreme right is now the centre right. So when all of those little darlings at GB News tell you that they are centrists, to a certain extent they are true. But they have been instrumental along with their friends in terms of putting the political discourse in this country as far right as possible. Now, um, people at this point will go, oh, well, you say that everything's fascist. Well, no, I don't, actually. Um, I fully recognise that uh, it's entirely possible to have a fascist-looking authoritarian government without it being fascist. However, if we use a number of industry standards, we get into problems about what exactly fascism is. Um, if you read... Uh, the Anatomy of Fascism, uh, which is kind of like st standard work by Paxton, um, f again from about 20 years ago, he refutes the idea that religious-based societies or governments can be fascist. And I, I it's, it's where I think his work basically falls down, which is why I prefer to go with Umberto Eco's uh, 14 points. To me, they find, I, I think they're a lot more pertinent to where we are today, even though it's an older piece from about a decade earlier. Yes, anyway, so hmm, enough for today because I need to move on. Um, I will be looking at the BNP tomorrow and we'll have a look and see exactly where we are vis-a-vis -vis them with a few pertinent, stop using the word pertinent, with a few, <laughs> a few choice cuts from GB News and the Conservative Party. Anyway, do have a lovely brown-shirted day. Enjoy.